About five years ago, Hank Workman from the Warehouse Church approached me with an idea that they had. When the forklift was in the very beginning stages of becoming what it is now, we had nothing to our name as a congregation. It was suggested that we check out the center of Whitley County Youth and maybe we could be able to uh, join alongside of them. And the desire that they were expressing to me was to find a way to come alongside families in the community and provide a free meal that they wanted to call the forklift. It didn't take very long for us to recognize how many times we had encountered young people in the programs that we offer to students who were going home after they would leave the center and would not have a meal. There wasn't a time where they were sitting down with their family eating. And so that conversation ensued with Jeff, which was the most incredible and surprising conversation as he was all about collaboration. This was a win-win situation. It was a complimentary uh, offering where we could add an extra layer that was meeting a need for the kids that we served and also made it a reality for them to, to meet a need uh, and a desire that they had to, to feed people in the community. The forklift opens its doors four and a half years ago on Monday nights serving anybody and everybody a free hot homemade meal. Three and a half years ago we opened up the line which is feeding students, anyone from middle school all the way up to 20 years of age, a free hot meal Tuesday through Friday. We are currently feeding five nights a week here out of the center and in 2014 we served just shy of 10,000 mouths being fed. Kids get to come and eat a healthy meal that's usually hot and prepared for them and they also get the feel of being able to sit around a table as a family because it's the center, it's for our family. We really enjoy coming over here to the center to not only help with the cleaning on a weekly basis, but setting up for the forklift that they have every Monday night. Um, the people that I have with me are people that have community service hours assigned to them by the court system. And um, I believe that it really provides a good opportunity for them to see what their good actions and their good deeds can have and the effect that it has on other people in the community. We're uh, second shift police officers. We really just wanted to be able to get with uh, the forklift and be able to give back to this community and be able to serve them in a different capacity other than the police officer. The forklift reaches a population that uh, isn't always touched. And so it's important that we have those types of opportunities. Um, obviously, it's not only food, but it's also community and hospitality and all those kind of good things. When I worked uh, at the forklift, uh, what I found was uh, that the individuals were really, really did care about one another. And, and it, it wasn't um, as much about the food as, like I said, it was about the community. And, and it was about connecting individuals together, the love and the interaction that was happening. It really nourished not only the stomachs, but the souls of the individuals. 